what I mean? You can put a label on a life. Put a label on a lifestyle. You know? Put a label on how you wake up every morning and go to bed at night. Every once in a while I get this uh, mantra going through my head that I tell all my clients and I'm like, gosh, I should get that attack tattooed on my forehead for Christ's sake, it's so important. Today's mantra is training is trying. Now in the past I've talked about some videos or uh, some ideas where it's like the entire reason why your body changes due to exercise is what your brain is telling your body to do. Muscle follows mind. If your brain isn't trying to get your body to do anything different, it doesn't matter what your program looks like, it doesn't matter what your diet looks like, it doesn't matter how hard you're working or anything. If the signal coming from your brain is not changing, nothing changes for the body. Now, the, the way to think about this is your brain sends instructions through your body. Okay, Muscle follows mind. I'm always telling people, the body is incredibly simple when it comes to exercise. It'll do whatever the brain tells it to do. If the brain wants it to be stronger, it'll get stronger. If the brain tells your fists to go faster in punches, it'll get faster. Guaranteed, there's never an exception to this. The challenge is getting this to happen. Now what usually ends up happening with a lot of people is they stay within their range of capability when they're working out. Okay, so their brain is saying, hey, I want you to be able to, I want you to run in such a way. And the body says, yeah, okay, I got this. Sure, I'm breathing hard, sure, it's really working hard and everything, but I got this. So basically the brain is saying, do something, and the body says, yeah, I got this, so I'll maintain this. I'm just gonna maintain whatever processes, whatever cellular adaptations I got to be able to stay being able to do this. But nothing's ever going to change. And it doesn't matter how hard it is. <laughs> it doesn't matter how difficult it seems to be or how much you sweat. The brain is saying, do this. The body says, I've got it. Nothing happens. The change is when the brain says, hey, body, I want you to run this 5K five minutes faster or two minutes faster. And the body's like, whoa. I don't quite have that. I can't quite make that happen. Now at this point, there's a crossroads, okay? The body says I can't quite make it happen, and a lot of times what ends up happening to people is they say, yeah, you're probably right, you can't make it happen. Okay, let's just go back to where we were before and stick with what we can really kind of do. And nothing happens. The difference is, and sometimes I'll tell someone to do something in the gym, and they'll be like, but I can't do it, and I'll just simply tell them, keep trying. So the brain says that signal, okay, I want you to run faster. The body says, I can't. The brain says, you have to. The body says, well, I can't. So then you've got this shift, this imbalance. So, the body, so as long as that signal is still demanding from the brain, the body says, well, then I guess I gotta make changes in order to accommodate it. Because physical capability and mental capability, they gotta match up. They, they can't skew. So as long as the demand on that from, the, from your mind is telling your body to do something, it's going to accommodate it to at least some degree. And if, there's, if it's saying do it, but the body's saying I can't, the signal has to be repeated over and over and over and over. And sometimes this is, it could take a while. A lot of times, especially someone's getting in trouble with engaging muscles, I'll say tighten your abs and they're like I can't. I'm like keep trying. You literally have to be there. Tighten the abs. Tighten the abs. Okay, come on. Tighten the abs. It's just over and over and over, and you gotta send that signal repeatedly. I don't care if it takes days, weeks, months, whatever. Just keep that signal on because eventually the body's gonna fall in line. But if the brain says, yeah, I guess you're right, you probably can't do it, then it stops sending the signal and the body says, see, I told you, I'm fine, I don't need to change. Training is trying. If you're not trying to do something, you're not training. Every single workout, every single set, every single rep, you have to be trying to do something in order to elicit a change. And I went over that in the last couple of videos. Till then, be fit, live free.